Hi, Dr. Eric Westman here, and another episode of Learn with Dr. Westman. This one is called Why I Endorse Lazy Dirty Keto. Well, as you recall, I've been using and studying low carb keto diets for about 20 years now, and I was teaching my patients here at Duke University, and an interesting thing changed. There was a oh, how should I say, explosion of the internet keto information. And while it's a great thing to get more and more people involved and aware of low-carb lifestyles, there have been some detriments that happened um, that kind of confused my patients and, and may confuse you. So if you think that uh, keto diet has to be difficult, it ha you have to calculate macros and use apps, you have to write down everything you eat. You have to buy expensive, fancy foods. Guess again. <laughs> so you don't have to do all that. Uh, you don't have to get coffee and put medium chain triglyceride oil in there. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do a, a, a learn with Dr. Westman about all of the things that these oils can do to you. Uh, and of course, lower your uh, pocketbook size. So Lazy Dirty Keto is the name for what I've been teaching and recommending for about 20 years. So, and, it, and I learned recently that it's kind of looked down upon by people. I had no idea that telling people to eat burgers and steak and, and uh, just eating real food was, was a bad thing. So let me explain what Lazy Dirty Keto is and what Internet Keto is. Internet Keto today is a conglomeration of people selling products and and putting in their latest spin on healthy living uh, you know uh, uh, jumping into a ice bath or going into a sauna is not necessarily nece is not necessary for a keto diet but you'll see people advocating things like that you don't have to buy special products and oils and and make special bone broth things like that of course it's great if you can so now what, I, what I'd like to just differentiate is a way that I've been teaching it with a list of foods as much as you want of meat, poultry, fish, and shellfish, and eggs, a limited amount of vegetables, they have to be very low in starch, and then a limited amount of oils and cheese, things like that. Um, it's very effective for obesity treatment, for weight loss, and for reversing diabetes or other metabolic problems. So be sure you're learning from people who are teaching the approach to keto that works for the reason you're wanting to do keto, the, the goals you're trying to accomplish. So today, lazy keto by the keto zealots out there or, or the definition of keto diet, lazy keto means you don't write things down. You don't, you don't have to use an app. You don't have to calculate macros, and that's what I've been doing for a long time. So, so if lazy means um, not you're a lazy bum, but but lazy means you're being very, very, um, how should I say, succinct and doing only what you need, parsimonious. You know, you're you're sitting on the beach, people are writing you checks, and you're lazy that way. I love it. You're lazy, meaning you don't have to do a whole lot of work. The diet will work for you. So you don't need to calculate macros and use these apps to write in what you're eating. You know what you're eating because you're choosing from a list of foods that we give you. Um, so lazy to me could, has, is the good connotation of I'm just kicking back and, and enjoying this kind of diet. The hunger goes away after a day or two and the weight comes off one to two pounds per week when it's working right, when it's working well. Um, so now the dirty part is fascinating because at the same time that I've been teaching this, the idea of having super clean foods from the, the paleo and primal uh, uh, movements, the, the grass-fed beef, the, the idea that you can change the food environment by the food that you purchase, I'm all for it. But you don't have to do that. So, so when someone says it's dirty keto, that might mean that you go to a restaurant. You know, you don't food prep all the time, or you go to fast food. Or uh, uh, you know, I've had some people so distraught that they felt guilty about going to McDonald's when they were on a trip, and they felt so guilty that they ate the bun and the fries when they could have just not had the bun and not had the fries. I've been teaching this kind of simple version 
of a low-carb keto diet for obesity and diabetes reversal in Durham, North Carolina, where people, most people eat some sort of fast food at some point during the week. So it, whether you go to a burger place or a sub place, it's okay, or a chicken sandwich place. To me, you know, to other people, that means it's dirty keto. You're not getting the best food ever on earth. You're not using every dollar that you spend to change the food environment. If I had to require people to do that, I could not meet my patients where they are today. The, the keto diet would be kind of an elitist sort of thing that only people who can afford the best foods, organic foods, the food at the farmer's market, or, or you know, God forbid you didn't split a cow with your neighbor and, and know its name. When it, uh, you know, <laughs> I've had some people do that, and, and that's fine if you can, but you don't have to do that to get the benefits of a low-carb keto diet. So dirty on the internet means that you're occasionally not having super clean foods. It's not going to destroy the diet as long as you keep the carbs really, really low. You'll stay in the keto or fat burning metabolism. So while a lot of people kind of look down upon lazy, dirty keto, in fact, there was a, a video I reviewed of someone who didn't even choose the foods that he ate on the keto diet. Now that's a gross violation. You have to choose foods you like. Don't eat foods you don't like. You're not going to stay with that very long. So this doctor that tried the keto diet just ate foods that were sent to him. They were in boxes and bags and, and cans. And no, no, no. Eat real food, food that you choose, you know, as much as you want till you're comfortably full because you're a fat burner. You're just not going to eat much when it's working right. So lazy, dirty keto might mean, you know, bad things. It, it's fine with me if you do it correctly. Uh, you know, meaning you're eating real food, not fake foods. And uh, as much as you want of the meat, poultry, fish, and shellfish, and eggs, a limited amount of vegetables and oils and, and creams works like a charm for obesity treatment and reversal of type 2 diabetes. So lazy, yeah, I'm going to let other people do the work for me. Dirty, well, you know, you got to get your knees and, and uh, you know, shoes dirty sometime, right? So not to worry. Lazy Dirty Keto is what I've endorsed and used for 20 years now at Duke. If you like the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Also, see the description for a link for my free resource, 10 Tips for Starting Keto the Right Way.